Hello, and welcome to this feature spotlight. My name is Will Meadows, and if you give me just a few minutes of your time, we can go over the super exciting new tool for your AWS toolbox. Today, we're going to talk about the VPC Reachability Analyzer, a subtle new addition to AWS that I think everyone needs to know about. This feature is especially helpful if you're new to AWS or cloud computing in general. Previously, when you'd first started learning and were introduced to cloud networking, you had to remember all the little checkboxes that were required in order to get things to work and connect with each other. Checkboxes, like having your security groups set up correctly for outbound traffic, having an elastic IP address associated with your instances, or just as simple as remembering to place an internet gateway in your VPC. If you were not able to assemble all the pieces in the right order, you'd be marooned alone without any idea of why your technology isn't working right. You had to spend hours and hours Googling answers to find solutions to problems that might not even be the one you're looking for. That was so frustrating and soul crushing, honestly, especially when you were just trying to learn. I can remember many times where my learning and productivity were halted because of simple connectivity problems that I was unable to diagnose. AWS has recently introduced the VPC Reachability Analyzer, which allows you to easily test the connectivity between two points of your architecture. It does so by jumping from an initial connection point and iteratively testing the route between that point and a target. Each distinct network point along the way will be checked for connectivity from the previous, and in the end, you'll receive a report that describes any issues that it may have found. For example, if you wanted to test the connectivity between an instance A and instance B within the same subnet, it would look something like this. It would begin by starting at your designated entry point, instance A, then check to see if there's an ENI attached to that instance. Then it would look for outbound traffic on the security group. After that, it would begin the journey back to the other instance by checking its security group for inbound rules that apply. And next, the ENI. And finally, we arrive at the destination instance, instance B. If these instances were in different subnets, it would also check the knackles in between to see if they have the appropriate rules as well. That's pretty cool, honestly. What's also super cool is that this technology isn't just limited to EC2 instances. No, there's a large array of available connection types and endpoints that you can test connectivity with. You can run a reachability analysis between VPN gateways, instances, network interfaces, internet gateways, VPC endpoints, and even VPC peering connections. And with the VPC peering, you can test connectivity between instances and points within different VPCs. You can even check traffic through your transit gateways, which can be difficult to diagnose problems with sometimes, so this is very handy. You can also test connectivity using both TCP traffic and UDP traffic through each of the available endpoints as well. Optionally, you can tag your analysis to keep track of the cost, even though they're pretty minor at 10 cents per run. That might add up if you are constantly retrying the connection. However, if you have a workload that you are particularly worried about, you can, of course, blast away at it at a fairly impressive speed and only run up a moderate bill. Well, I think you get the point here. Let's dive into a quick demo of the service so we can see what it is that we're actually working with. All right, go ahead and click VPC. And in here on the left-hand side, you should be able to see the reachability analyzer. Go ahead and click on that. And then we can create a path that we can analyze up here with this orange button. So I'm gonna select some instances and we're gonna, we're gonna check the reachability between these two here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. And these are in the same subnet to make things easy. You of course can switch between different ones. I'm gonna go ahead and click another instance uh, that we're gonna check. And overall that looks pretty good. Um, of course, something to note that you can uh, set the destination uh, port that you're looking through or the protocol, TCP, UDP, but otherwise go ahead and click create. And here we are. Uh, it's starting to create the path. It's in the pending state. Give it just a moment and uh, we're going to refresh here and we should be able to see how well the path did. And it looks like it was not reachable. So let's try to figure out what the problem was. So if you scroll down here, um, it should give us an explanation and it says, uh, none of the ingress rules in the following security groups apply. So you can see here kind of what it tried to do. Um, but that's, that's something we can totally fix. So how about we give that a go? So let's go click on the security group. It even told us which one wasn't there. And lo and behold, there's no inbound rules. So how about we create an inbound rule to allow traffic? Um, let's go ahead and do all TCP. I think that will be just fine. And then we're gonna do from anywhere. And I think that's probably good. That should let in everything. So let's go ahead and save the rule. Um, it's always important to double check uh, the outbound rules as well. So let's, let's give it a clicky. And it looks like everything's good in here. So how about we go ahead and go back to the reachability analyzer. And again, it's just as simple as going up to services and clicking on VPC. And once again, it'll be on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and give that a click. And all right, so before it was not reachable, let's go up to actions and tell it to reanalyze that path. Just confirm it all up. And this will cost 10 cents again, so don't just click it all the time. Uh, it, that does eventually cost something. 
and uh, give it just a moment here. So you can see our previous state was not reachable. And now for this new state, if we go ahead and hit the refresh button, and we should be pleasantly surprised. And there we go, look, it's reachable now. And you can see down here the path that it was successfully able to navigate to check from the source to the destination. That's pretty fantastic. Again, this used to be a lot more difficult uh, back in the old and wild west days of the cloud. Well, I hope you enjoyed this feature spotlight. I'm Will Meadows, and thanks again for taking your time to hang out here with me. I appreciate it. Have a good one.